Hi everyone. So today I am going to talk about how to do K4 cross validation using R Studio using only two lines of codes for any machine learning algorithm. All right. So I am going to uh, start to demonstrate uh, how to use this K4 cross validation using R. Um, by uh, first applying this uh, to the most uh, simplest machine learning algorithm which is a logistic regression because in logistic regression you don't have to um, train any hyperparameter all right so in order to do the, uh, do this first you need to import this very cool package which is called this a carrot package because this uh, using this a carrot package we are going to do this k fall cross validation so if you haven't installed this a carrot package into your r studio first install that and import it into your uh, r script after that you need to import this ml bench package where i uh, where uh, i'm going to use my data based on this uh, ml bench package so if you haven't installed this ml bench package also please uh, remember to install that too all right so now i'm going to tell you how to do this k for consolidation using this carrot package so believe me you need to have only two cores or two lines of cores in order to do this k for consolidation for any machine learning algorithm so in this uh, first line of cores you are going to uh, run this uh, train control function so in this uh, train control function, what you are going to do is you are basically uh, you are going to uh, define the uh, the K for cross validation method that you, uh, that you are going to use. And uh, in this uh, train function, what you are going to do is you are going to uh, define your machine learning model based on uh, different machine learning techniques. So here under this uh, train control method, you can uh, choose your cross validation method. For an example, if you are going to do uh, a K4 cross validation, then you can use this method as CV. Or else if you are going to do something like um, leave one out cross validation, then you can uh, choose this method as uh, loose CV, like here. Okay, and if you are going to do uh, you a method as um, repeated a okay, case cross validation, then you can uh, choose you a method as repeated CV. Likewise, you can uh, change a method based on your uh, desire. And here I am going to do a fivefold cross validation. So I am going to choose my method as CV, and uh, this number equals to five then it is better that if you choose uh, say a prediction sequence true because in later uh, if you want to do some predictions based on your uh, final model then it will be very helpful so that is about your uh, train control function so now i am going to run this uh, first code first line of code like this after that i am going to define my model so here you can uh, define a model as a linear model that you basically do using uh, lm function in r that means first you can write your response variable over here then you can write this uh, tilde symbol then after that you can type the all the independent variables that you want to use after this uh, tilde sign then you can uh, choose your uh, data set name like this then the most important part so here i'm going to use a logistic regression as my method so in that case you need to choose your method as glm and family as binomial then you need to define your uh, train control object where it is equal to a uh, fit control one like this so now you can run this. 
So, uh, based on your uh, type of data, sometimes it may take some time to run this code. And after that, using this uh, summary, you can identify uh, the uh, final model. I mean, the base model based on your cross cave cross validation. And using this uh, confusion matrix, you can identify it. So, so, so I miss one part here. So, you, if you want to uh, find the accuracy here, you can just run this object like this. You can see that based on the final model, the accuracy is about 0.92. So, after that, if you want to get the confusion matrix in order to identify uh, how this uh, model has done the classification or uh, how accurate this classification, you can use this uh, confusion matrix function in R in order to, uh, which is inside this uh, carrot package in order to do that. So if you uh, first, you need to uh, do that inside this uh, table function. So inside this table function, first you need to give you a predicted value. So the predicted values you can define like this. Then you can define the observed values like this. So if you run this code, you can see the uh, you can see the um, confusion matrix. So here we see is the actual classification, the columns represent the actual classification and uh, these uh, rows represent the uh, classification which was conducted using our uh, logistic regression model. So you can see that there are uh, 19 plus 33 which is equals to uh, 51 uh, subjects where it was misclassified out of the total number of sample size. So the nice thing here is that based on this output, you can see some other performance measurements also. For an example, you can see the uh, value of uh, sensitivity here, which is uh, uh, close to uh, about 0.96. And also they have given this uh, specificity, uh, positive predicted value, negative predicted value, likewise. So you can get all the information you want based on this uh, confusion matrix function. So that's how you can use this uh, K for cross validation uh, method using a logistic regression model. So in my next video, I am going to show you how to do this for a lasso penalized reg regression method. Thank you.